Yeah, the result's massively disappointing, but I think it's mere today we maybe, certainly there was a 10 minute spell in the first half where it cost us dearly. Um, you know, two mistakes that, you know, that well, one of them's an under nine game, you know, like, you just can't give the ball away like that, especially against these. Then the other one, we spoke about it last night, about tracking people. If you don't do it, you get punished. Um, and then, certainly first half, we created nothing. I think we one chance with Sue. But second half, I thought we'd done better. Um, and then when opportunities came, we've got to make sure we work the goalkeeper. Um, and, you know, people saying there, oh, you've got to pick them up. I don't. Because if we can pick up on the 10, kind of 12 minutes slots in the game when when we did keep the ball quite well, but we've just got to have an end product. You know, it's, that, that's the bottom line. As you're saying there, about having the end product, that's perhaps what in some of the previous games has let the side down a bit, that lack of a clinical edge in front of goal. It has. Um, are they bad players? No. Uh, they just need to, you know, and I say it at training to them all the time, it isn't funny when you miss something at training because, you know, they never ever laugh when it's in the context of a game. So, you know, that, and again, they're hurting, but like I said to them tonight, we have to drag the good patches out of the game and say, well, we've been beat 6-0, it looks like a proper hiding, and I suppose it is, but if, if you don't take the chances, it's what will harm to you. You say about taking the positive points, obviously Millie Bright's had a couple of chances that on another day might have found yes, the back of the net. Yes, Sue had a good chance, Little Ash had a good chance, Beth had a couple of chances. You know, I'd, I'd done the kind of short count in the second half, I think we had uh, seven opportunities at goal. They weren't all great, but I think four of them are, are good opportunities. Uh, the girl with one great save down to her right hand side. But, but that's what issue, we don't test the keepers enough. You know, um, so, yeah. Obviously now looking to the, towards the future, we've had the uh, press conference today with BPP unveiled as the new uh, club sponsor. How much does that mean to you? What a, how much of a good thing is that? Massive. I mean, I suppose like they're here tonight, they'll feel a sense of disappointment, but I hope they don't. If they've really kind of uh, watched the game and seen that if, if we can, you know, if we can try and nurture and get more minutes into them, the way we can play in certain sections of the game, then, you know, hopefully that's what can happen. Um, and, I, you know, we get beat 6-0, and the, our keeper played quite well as well. So it's, it's relatively disappointing. But what I've got to do is try and take... When we changed the shape second half, we were better, because we had width, and, you know, we, we were able to cause them a few problems. But... It is what it is, they're a good, good side. And on Saturday, obviously, we've got Liverpool, the uh, current table toppers, coming to uh, the keep mode. Is that a game you think we can get something out of? Well, yeah, I said this today. You know, like if, uh, if I'm the manager, I'm not going to say we're not. Um, it, it's, and I'm, I'm repeating myself again. When my moments come in games, we've got to take advantage of the, the little moments. Um, I mean, there's a couple of younger ones tonight that were outstanding. A little girl, Ashley Mills. It's as if she's got a little engine in her. She just never stopped running. You know, a super little player and Beth England up there. I thought she was magnificent tonight, the way she held the ball in. But it's just, she'd done everything brilliant and then that end product. Um, and I don't mean it isn't there, because it is. Um, she, I know she's doing a lot of work on her own to get herself fitter. And I think that was quite evident tonight with her. What we probably did miss tonight, if I'm being honest, aye, aye. Um, was just that little bit of pace in behind. Maybe Jess Sigsworth gives us that, where you can threaten the back line a little bit more. All right, thanks, John.